All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to look at the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Ken. And on the front of the packaging, we have Ken from the game, Street Fighter V game. We've got logos on the front, Ken, Storm Collectibles, supervised by Kiki, who is supervising the design of these figures. On the top, we have the Capcom logo, Street Fighter V logo. On the side, we have some graphics. Sorry, got a little bit dark of Ken Masters there. Again, Street Fighter V logo at the bottom and Kiki's signature. Moving on to the other side, it's exactly the same thing. So we're gonna take a look at the back. And looking at the back here, we have some promo shots of Ken and his accessories. Uh, we have some interchangeable faces and we have some effect pieces the display stand and a bio of ken okay so jumping straight into the sculpt and paint work of street fighter 5 ken storm collectibles have done another excellent job in my opinion of recreating ken from street fighter 5 in figure form as you can see uh, almost or if you can't really see, almost everything is painted or shaded or highlighted or has some kind of wash on it. Uh, going straight into the face sculpt, uh, in my opinion, this looks exactly or looks pretty much how Ken Masters looks like in the Street Fighter V game. Again, it's a really well sculpted uh, face everything uh, is painted the lips the eyebrows uh, the eyes uh, one complaint what's well, not really a complaint but uh, a kind of a nitpick and I I did some research on this as well I was looking at some pictures of Ken Masters um, what color eyes he's, he has and for the most or well, I think all of the pictures that I found he has brown eyes and even on the packaging for the Street Fighter V, uh, they used the game art from Street Fighter V, he had brown eyes, but for some reason they painted his eyes blue on the figure. Uh, which, I mean, I don't really mind, but if you are a perfectionist and you know you really do want the definitive Street Fighter V uh, Ken figure, he doesn't have brown eyes. So, you know, you might be disappointed, you might not care, but that's something to note. Uh, going on to his hair, you know, it's really well sculpted at the back here. Uh, it has a, a dark, almost a black wash over it. And it's painted in a, I guess you can say it's a straw yellow. Uh, but it really does look like what he looks like in the game. Uh, going on to the actual sculpt, uh, all the musculature, the stretch, the wrinkles on the shirt, you know, which extends over to the back. You know, over onto his arms. It's really subtle, which you can kind of make it out. Um, onto his, onto the back of his gi, uh, the way it drapes down. Really well sculpted. Uh, it's all shaded and I guess um, washed over with a darker red and black. And they've actually done that on the underside of the gear as well, which they didn't have to do, but it's a really nice detail, um, which is really cool, and I'm really glad that they did that. And it really makes me appreciate Storm Collectibles, um, their attention to detail on the paintwork and the sculpt of their figures. Again, it, it extends down to the legs, the way the the pants drape down, and you know even on the the feet, uh, this this black part and the red is sculpted and painted as well as you can see there uh, the wrinkles and the details on the fists and the hands uh, just a, a really excellently sculpted and painted uh, figure again these lines the red lines they are sculpted and painted and you know it's not perfect it's not like a perfect painted red line but I think that's forgiven because um, the way these characters are represented in the game I think Storm Collectibles have done an excellent job in kind of uh, representing that grittiness okay so just something that I forgot to mention and I thought it would be 
worth mentioning because uh, you know when we think about Ken we also think about Ryu as well and not to make this into a comparison video but I just wanted to point out that you know essentially Ken and Ryu are I wouldn't say the same character but they do say but they do share the same abilities attributes you know to some degree body type and the thing that I was impressed with or that I am happy with is that Storm Collectibles didn't just reuse the same body as uh, Ryu for Ken. Uh, there is actually a lot of new parts obviously in the chest uh, this which is made from rubber uh, his shirt is actually molded to his chest is actually one piece uh, obviously you can see that he's wearing a shirt and not a gi he's not uh, he's not shirtless uh, here I have Ryu uh, with his gi off just to show you that underneath the body type is actually different uh, the sculpt work is actually different I'm sure they do use a similar or maybe almost same parts for maybe the, the forearms but the biceps they're different of course because you have the red lines uh, the shirt that the shirts sorry the shirt that is um, that Ken is wearing even the gloves they're different the different style of gloves uh, obviously we have this rubber part here on Ken uh, which Ryu doesn't have the belt is different uh, I'm sure they probably you know used similar or you know had a similar design for the legs but for the calves and the bottom part of Ken's leg uh, of his pants and reused pants they're different because Ken has a more cleaner pant I guess you could say and Ryu has the grittier you know all torn up the feet obviously they are a new sculpt again having similarities in the actual toes but Ken has you know those tights you know at the bottom with the red lines which are sculpted in as well so um, I just wanted to mention I just wanted to let you guys know that you know you're not just getting a I guess a retool or a you know reuse of a you know figure that you already have or if you don't have but you know there is enough difference there to say that this is you know essentially a brand new figure all right so we're going to take a look at Ken's articulation first off his head so when I opened this figure uh, Ken's head articulation was the first thing that I checked and the reason for this was because I was kind of disappointed with Ryu's head articulation and I was kind of weary or worried that Ken would kind of suffer the same thing and what was wrong with Ryu's head articulation was that he could move his head side to side just fine just like Ken moves his head side to side no problems even with those side hair pieces there doesn't really hinder it because they are soft but when Ryu tried to move his head up and down which he can do he couldn't actually hold the pose uh, he you could move his head down and his head would go back to his neutral neutral pose and the reason for that was like Ken uh, Ryu had a rubber neck uh, the chest and the neck are one piece so it's made from rubber and going straight through the middle was a peg and a ball joint which the head sat on but every single time you or every time you try to pose the head tilt it you know like what I'm doing with Ken right now you know get him to look down he couldn't hold that pose because there was no neck joint the rubber would just push his head back to the neutral pose but what they've done with Ken is that they put an extra neck piece uh, hard neck piece neck joint inside there so Ken can now look up and hold that pose and Ken can now look down and hold that pose he can tilt it and he has so much more range of mo movement and he can hold that position which is really really cool and and it's so frustrating to you know get Ryu in a pose and him not holding it because of that so this is something that they improved on and I'm not sure if it's because they realized that but 
Uh, it's a huge improvement in my books and I'm really glad that they did it. So something that I forgot to mention, uh, Ken's ponytail is actually articulated as well. So you can spin it around, do all kind of crazy things. Woohoo, look at that. It's sticking up. Um, it also, it's also two pieces. It's on a hinge so you can move it out or have it flop down like that. For his face, it is uh, interchangeable, and I'll show you that later with the accessories. But oh, look at that! His fringe or his bangs—sorry, wherever you wherever you're living—are actually separate pieces as well, and you can change them out. And you know, it doesn't look too bad without the the bangs or the fringe. You just kind of cover up that hole, and uh, yeah, not too bad. Moving on to his shoulders, he has butterfly joints which move in really nicely and move out just as nice as well uh, again like I mentioned his upper chest only his upper chest is made from rubber so it does give him a good range of motion in his shoulders uh, he does move his arms out more than 90 degrees and he can move it 360 degrees like so, he does have a upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, but because of how beefy he is, he can't actually move past 90 degrees there. He has the standard wrist rotation and has a hinge in the wrist as well. Uh, his, sorry, his fists are a softer plastic and those wristbands are actually separate pieces as well. Moving on to his waist, uh, he does have this rubber gi here which is flexible and doesn't hinder articulation too much. Uh, his crotch, like most, like the other two Street Fighter figures, is rubber. Uh, so he does have a waist swivel and he does have, sorry, upper torso swivel. Not much crunch. there but he does move back a decent amount moving on to his legs uh, his legs are on a t-joint which are connected which his legs are connected to a uh, to ball ball joints he does have a oh okay that came off he does have upper thigh swivel he does kick out this much, a little bit more than 90 degrees, and he does kick. He can do the splits about this this much without uh, the gi getting in the way. He does have a double jointed knees, which does get better than 90 degrees, and he does have lower calf swivel right there. He does move his legs, or sorry, his feet, if I can get it to go, no I can't, I'm just going to use the other foot. He can move back, but it is blocked by the uh, lower part of his pants, and it can move up, again it is blocked by the pants there. He does have toes articulation, toe articulation. And he does have ankle pivot, which is actually really nice. I think it does have a better angle than Ryu does. So, another improvement. Alright, so Ken comes with a lot of stuff. And good stuff too. Um, a lot of these accessories are really well thought out. And really do match uh, his character especially the effect parts which I'm going to show later on but first we'll have a look at the face the interchangeable faces and of course here is the neutral face the one that I've been showing throughout the review again really well sculpted really well painted we have a shouting face right there You know, all the inside is painted nicely done and we have a I don't know what to call this uh, whew, yeah that was a good round 
kind of face as well and something that I didn't expect was the different uh, fringe options this is the neutral fringe or bang and it's made from a rubber same as his hair the rest of his hair and you get a swoop into the right version as well and just plugs in on the top and you get a I guess it's kind of fanning to the left and the right bang option as well and you get his normal fisted hands you get a pair of open kind of you know getting ready to, to fight hands getting ready to fight pose hands uh, you have another open left-handed option there as well and you also get you know a, uh, a finger a come on finger that can does do in the game and I'm glad they that they included and you also get a pan, a pan you also get a set of Hadouken hands as well uh, which means he does come with a Hadouken effect so let's switch over to the effects alright so Ken comes with some really awesome effect pieces four in total and as you can see here he does come with the Hadouken effect which is essentially the same Hadouken effect that Ryu comes with minus the extra ring that goes around it and it is recolored a kind of red, yellowish, orangish, um, translucent uh, plastic and this is to I guess match Ken's abilities or I guess character you know in the original game Ken and Ryu were essentially the same character sharing the same abilities but uh, as time progressed uh, the game developers wanted to distinguish you know Ken and Ryu a little bit more and you know while Ryu was I guess a specialist I don't, I don't, I don't know if you want to call a specialist but he specialized in the Hadouken ability um, and Ken kind of specialized in the uh, Shoryuken ability the jumping flying uppercut ability and with that they included this flame effect uh, so he can actually reproduce his uh, Shoryu Repa or Shin Yuken effect uh, move, sorry, and he also comes with another flame effect for his uh, Tatsumaki Senpakyaku, the uh, tornado kick uh, that he performs as well. And these pieces, the Shoryuken, Shoryu Repa, Shin Yuken, whatever you want to call it, and the uh, sorry, I'm gonna mess this up again but the Tatsumaki Senpukyaku effect as well they are all interchangeable with Ryu so he can hold them as well uh, he also comes can also comes with an extra flame piece for his foot which you can attach to Ryu as well so yeah these flame pieces are made from a translucent orange plastic and they are highlighted and painted uh, with you know some white and some yellow so really cool additions, uh, some nice effect pieces that can be interchangeable with both characters. Really happy. Ken comes with his standard Street Fighter V display stand, and this is the same and this is the same display stand that comes with uh, Bison and Ryu. Uh, it's a pretty cool base stand. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, it has the Street Fighter V logo, which is printed, not painted. It's not a, a decal either, uh, so it's done really nicely. And the stand is spring-loaded and really strongly spring-loaded. There is two really strong springs inside there, so he's not going to move anywhere when you display him, uh, when you display Ken in his jumping or jumping in the flying in the air action poses so another really cool uh, accessory right there okay so just some quick size comparisons we have Ryu to Ken's right and we have M Bison to Ken's left and height wise Ryu and Ken I think they've always been around the same height uh, kind of same body type sharing the same body type and we have M Bison Obviously, he's, he's taller, and that's the way he's depicted in the game, in the animation. Uh, that's 
how he he's always been and you know looking at the three of them together they look really cool and i'm really looking forward to seeing uh, storm collectibles you know pump out you know new characters uh, we do have zangief coming for me anyway uh, at the end of this month and we've also seen new pictures of uh, storm collectibles chun li and akuma akuma whatever you want to call him and uh, just for fun we're going to put in the sh figure arts uh, Chun Li, and as you can see, you know the size isn't that bad, and it can work, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to see how the Storm Collectibles Chun Li sizes up. You know, if she's going to be that short, maybe she's going to be a little bit taller. But you know, the the style between Storm Collectibles and SH Figure Arts, you know, it's it's like day and night. You got the gritty uh, for the Storm Collectibles, but you know, it's really kind of clean for the SH Figure Arts um, Street Fighter. So my final thoughts about Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Ken is that he's an improvement over Ryu. Just having that neck joint, that extra neck joint in there really improves articulation, making, you know, posing the figure a lot more fun and, you know, that much less frustrating um, like I did, like I was with Ryu. Uh, it's on par in terms of, you know, uh, playability, posability, as M. Bison, the, those extra effect pieces that it came with, you know, the fact that you can actually interchange them with Ryu as well, is also a really um, great bonus. And, you know, I'm just over, overall really happy with the figure. And I think for people who are getting into this line, um, you'll definitely be satisfied with this figure. For people who are thinking about getting into this line, it's a great entry. Um, you know, into the series. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of the characters that um, Storm Collectibles has uh, lined up for this year and next year. And, uh, yeah, just a really awesome figure. I had a lot of fun playing with it, um, posing it, taking pictures of it. And it'll be really interesting to see It'll be really interesting to see what uh, Storm Collectibles has coming up for us next. And that's it for me. And if you haven't checked out my review for Storm Collectibles M. Bison or my comparison review with Storm Collectibles Ryu and SH Figure Arts Ryu, I'll have them floating around. Links in the description somewhere. Uh, you can also check out my SH Figure Arts Chun-Li figure review as well. Again, links, click here or click there. I'll have it around. But yeah, uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching this review. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, uh, you know, share it, like it, leave some comments down below. I always try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. You know, start a discussion. Uh, love to hear get back from you guys. Um, but more to come next week. I'll have caliber optimus prime coming in this weekend so hopefully i'll have that out early next week as well so look out for that and that's it i uh, hope you guys have a awesome week i know it's wednesday uh if it's summer where you're living uh make sure you drink plenty of water stay cool because it's really heating up here in japan uh if it's winter where you're living stay warm and uh thanks again guys for watching i'll see you guys next time Take it easy. Bye.